to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to be doing a huge room makeover for my room. I'm going to be doing some style changes, like I'll be removing the turquoise wall, which I feel like is really extra in my room. I'm really excited to finally be doing this makeover. I've been planning it out for months and I think it'll be really fun. So I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. <laughs> which I'll be using to take down all my decorations and put in these boxes so I can move them out of my room. And then I'll be rearranging the furniture to see what I want the new layout to be. So let's get started. Every time that I see your face, it always makes me smile. Oh, oh. And every time. Moving my bed was honestly a challenge. Oh, this is so hard. So let me sing for you. When I got this bed, I was living in a different house and my room was a lot smaller than this room. So the bed looked really big, it took up most of the space. But in this room, I feel like I have a lot more room that I can use. So I think that having my bed out instead of just against the wall makes the space look a little better. The only thing is the side table, I feel like is a little out of place here just because it's very close to the desk. We're moving the furniture. All right, let's move <laughs> Now it's the next day, and so far I have removed all the plates off of the plugs, and then we also took down the blinds as well as moved my bed to the center of my room. Hi guys, I thought that I would do a little update for you all. So it is currently 621, and I'm almost done prepping my room to be painted. I've put up all of the painter's tape except for on the outlets. Here's a little overview of my room. We have it all taped up. The whole taping process took a little while to do. I started at noon, so I've been working for around six hours. I'm going to finish up prepping my room and putting the tarps down so nothing happens to the carpet, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, the weekend now, I filmed this other part last weekend. We painted the room and it definitely looks a lot different. I love how it's a cool white and sometimes it kind of looks gray, but other times it looks like it has a blue undertone. The first thing I'm gonna do is bring all my furniture back into my room and then we'll be ready to set everything up. So let's go do that. It's so white in here. It looks like a studio though. siblings both kindly wanted to help me so they helped get it all in here and my brother wanted to do something by himself so he Yay! did it in my side table I did my side thanks for your help high five I also got the bed set up so now all I have to do is bring in the rest of the decorations so we're gonna go do that I tried to kind of put up only stuff that I needed and then a few simple decor pieces as well to make it all come together. The color scheme I went for was mostly black and white with a few pops of red so it gives a little bit of vibrant color. I love the modern look of it. Above my bed I hung up a picture of New York City and then above that I put a simple rose. I thought that this was a great way to tie in the pop of red but also keep it very simple. As for my desk I put down a desk mat that I actually made in one of my DIY room decor videos recently. If you guys haven't seen it yet I'll have it linked down below. 
In the corner I put the magazine holders with some notebooks that I always use and then next to that I put the same lamp that I had before. I really like having the shelf above my desk instead of above my bed because since it's over my desk I can put different office supplies that I don't have room for on the shelf. My dresser I kept pretty simple. I just have my dresser and then I put some tins that I can store items in on both sides. I got these from Ikea and then there is a simple white vase from Magnolia Market with a few roses in there and some fake pine branches as well. The bookshelves are fairly simple. The top shelf has some picture frames and then there's a nail polish stand, some books scattered out, and some other simple decor pieces. And then in the back corner of my room I really like it because I have my beanbag chair and my side table next to that where I can put a book and then I also put a lantern on there as a little light. than I had before and it also kind of opens my room up more so it looks bigger than it was. I hope that this inspires you if you like having a more modern look in your room. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! For the <laughs> I don't know. It makes it look a little more... I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was? Okay, cool. So, Bigger. I know, my room looks a lot bigger. I mean, that window looks smaller. <laughs> oh man, they're screwed in! Yes. <laughs>